Well, I really hope that he addresses something that is really front of mind for many of the people that I represent, and that is the disastrous impacts that uh, inflation has had on their ability to pay their bills and uh, and meet the expenses of their families. As you know, we're suffering the worst inflation in over 40 years. It's really having an impact on the people that I represent, uh, and many economists agree that uh, it, this round of inflation has been catalyzed by uh, deficit federal government spending that's occurred over the last two years. Congressman, one more question before I get you out of here in our last 30 seconds. What grade would you give the Biden administration so far in its overall response to the situation in Russia and Ukraine? Um, how about a solid B? You know, it's uh, first of all, uh, I think that that even uh, people on the other side of the aisle would acknowledge that uh, the administration's disastrous handling of the withdrawal from Afghanistan played a substan substantial role in, uh, in emboldening Vladimir Putin to invade Ukraine. Uh, however, I think the president's done a pretty good job of rallying international support. This is something that this kind of international unity is something that the world has not seen in quite a long time. And now we've got countries like Finland who are talking about joining NATO. Uh, and uh, I think that the administration had a, had a, a part in leading that. Uh, I think the vast majority of us in Congress are firmly behind his resolve to impose economic sanctions on Russia. Uh, as I said, there are some of us, like myself, that wish he would go a little further. And there are some other actions that, uh, that, uh, that we wish he would take. For example, uh, I wish that he would join countries like Canada and the EU in closing U.S. airspace to Russian aircraft. I think that that would, uh, you know, that would add to the sanctions that we've already proposed. But uh, uh, so, so you know, I think it's uh, it, there's some good give and take there. But I'll give him a B.